Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. The greatest spectacle in racing will run August 23, but for the first time in history, it will be without fans in the stands. After first, uh, first announcing plans to hold the race with limited attendance, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway this week said concerns surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic were too great to allow fans inside the famed two and a half mile oval. Joining me now with more on the decision making process and what's next, I'm pleased to be joined by Penske Entertainment Corporation CEO Mark Miles. And uh, Mark, as always, uh, welcome to, and thanks for joining us on the program. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for having me. I know there have been a lot of, uh, of difficult discussions uh, and conversations the last few weeks. Give us some insight uh, into, uh, into the, uh, the tone of those talks and maybe that final domino that fell that led to the decision to go with no fans. Yeah, there, I think we just ran out of time. I wouldn't say there was, you know, a final day that uh, where something changed and, and made the decision for us, as, as you and I think Indianapolis people know. We've been working for weeks to, to be in a position to welcome fans back. We spent $15 million to, to update and uh, improve every part of the facility so fans would see a real difference when they were back at the track. We've spent thousands of hours with uh, our staff and with public health experts and uh, around the world and, and, and in, this, uh, in the city working on the best possible way to do it. We feel like we had a plan together that, that is really a model under the circumstances. And we said all along that we're ready. And the question would be, do the public health uh, metrics, does the situation with COVID in central Indiana allow us to do it? We had almost daily conversations and, and meetings and discussions with the city public health officials and the state public health officials. They were terrific to work with. And we, we thought together that there'd probably never be a day when they had to tell us no, or when we wanted to say, we want to do it and, and uh, we're sorry you object. It, there was always going to be a consensus because the, we said the data has to speak for itself. Yeah. And that's what happened. We got to this point and there just really uh, was, it wasn't where uh, we wanted things to be. A lot of implications, certainly disappointment on the fan side, but also financial implications. Uh, in terms of the impact there, can you, can you calculate or, or give us some perspective on, uh, on the financial piece of that, uh, of the decision? Well, I would say it's no picnic. Um, you can imagine, fans can imagine how important uh, everything related to attendance is for us. Um, but it was really never about that. We, we were determined, Roger Penske was determined to continue to improve the facility, to be ready whenever the next opportunity was going to occur, um, and ultimately to do the right thing. So it's, it's important to us financially. We'll get through it. Yeah. It's important to, uh, I think, the hospitality industry and Speedway and in the city and around the state. And, and it'll certainly be missed from an economic perspective. But. You know, now we got to just get on with it and have a great race and, and look forward to uh, May 30, 2021. <laughs> right. But even before then, early October, the uh, the Harvest Grand Prix is, is still scheduled, as I understand it, right? And at this point, you're looking in early October to potentially run that uh, with uh, with fans. Yeah. So this is a Grand Prix again. And at the moment, we're thinking a double header so we could get two races in to make up for uh, what we've missed on the IndyCar Series calendar. Um, so uh, Indianapolis people will know what that looks like, and it's the first weekend in October. The crowd is expected to be smaller. Obviously, everything is smaller than, than the Indianapolis 500-mile race. So we think it'll work, but again, we'll be ready. Everything will be in place, and then there'll be a kind of game day decision about whether there are any adjustments we have to make based on the healthcare situation. All right, Mark Miles is the CEO of Pinsky Entertainment uh, Corporation. Mark, as always, thanks for joining us, especially uh, during this very busy uh, time. We appreciate it very much. Thank you, Gary. All right.